Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's uh, TA, keep in mind that we closed the CME on $9,470. So wherever we're going this weekend on Monday, we're gonna have a new future gap up to this uh, level here because the CME market closed at 9,400. 70 and it looks like that bitcoin could move sideways during the weekend but i'm also expecting a little bit of a pump or a dump maybe tomorrow not today let's see but it looks like that something is coming up uh, during the weekend and therefore we can switch over to the bitstamp chart because currently it looks like that we could be in this potential bull flag here that could take us towards the main resistance of this uh, big wedge that we are in now since a couple of uh, days and we are waiting here for the breakout to the upside or to the downside here so currently we don't have enough data but it is possible that we're gonna stay in this uh, channel here it is a bullish channel that could take us towards here the main resistance of current around nine thousand eight hundred dollar if we're gonna break this level and also if we're gonna break this ten thousand three hundred dollar resistance i'm gonna be completely bullish because then we could be heading towards a new all-time highs at least potentially to test 14 16 and twenty thousand again but currently we are still in this potential bullish pattern within this consolidation wedge and we are waiting here for the breakout so here in the one hour you see that the RSI is right at the 50, stochastic is coming down from overbought territory. So it really looks like that we will chop around here between uh, 9,300 and 9,570 before a breakout. I still expect to see a breakout most likely later today or tomorrow, so before the month ends. And also if we go over to the Bollinger Band, you can see that after we overshooted it to the upside currently we are tracing back down into the middle area so we should expect here a bounce to the upside only if we would lose here the middle area of the bollinger band so if we would lose here this 9400 dollar support we could easily go down again towards 9300 and also the macd still shifted to the upside so here in the one hour it looks like that we could form a bounce here pretty soon and also the 20 moving average is very close now so let's see if we can keep up with the 20 moving average in the one hour if we switch over to the four hour here it looks a bit different because here you can see that the 20 moving average is down here at 9340 so it is possible that maybe we will go down to test this moving average it's also the bottom area of this uh, falling wedge or bull flag that we are forming currently so it is very likely that we might go down to test this area down here and bounce from the 20 moving average in the four hour also if we look at the rsi and stochastic stochastic is coming from over sold territory rsi still trading here in neutral area above the 50 so also here it is possible that we go down to test and bounce from the 50 level in the rsi so i'm expecting still a little dump here maybe during the weekend to test uh, this uh, support down here and hopefully hold it in case that it's not holding it then prepare to see prices again here towards the 200 moving average in the four hour so somewhere around 9100 to 9000 dollar potential even down here to 8800 but it looks like that we are building up some nice bullish support here and we should see a breakout and a test here of this 9800 dollar resistance also if we go over to the bollinger band in the four hour here you can clearly see that we are bouncing here from the middle area so right now we should be trading between 9450 and 9700 dollars so it is very likely that we go up here to test it but the problem here is that we could in theory fall down between 9330 even down to 8950 especially if we're gonna have here a bearish cross in the MACD so we have to see what will happen here here we almost had a bearish cross but we bounced immediately back up so let's see if now we're gonna have a bearish cross or not so far we're still good to go but there could be here some um, dump signs coming up here also in the four hour and if we go to the daily 
here still very bullish but keep in mind that we could go anytime back down here to test the 20 daily moving average at 9180 it is possible it's not guaranteed but it is possible that we go down there uh, to test it and bounce hopefully from this moving average let's hope that we will not close another daily candle below this moving average like we did over here because that could indicate some uh, weakness and although the stochastic now is in neutral territory rsi is still above the 50 also here still very bullish in the daily and even here if you go over to the bollinger band you can see that currently we're trading in the upper part so between 9980 down here to 9260 there is also a chance that we are getting a bullish cross here in the daily and this could fire up here the breakout towards 9900 and potentially also break that resistance because here the daily MACD is starting to look very bullish especially if here we're gonna have a bullish uh, cross not yet happened but it is possible that in the next couple of days we're gonna see that if we continue to trade here above 9200 dollar and also if we go over to the weekly here also very bullish week we bounced successfully from the 50 weekly moving average we didn't even came down here to test the 20 weekly moving average at 8270 rsi is still above the 50 stochastic is a bit overbought here so let's see if we stay in this area for quite some time or we're seeing all the cool off here and if we go over to the bollinger band here in the weekly you also can see that we are trading now between here the $8,200 and also the $11,100 that would be also my target here for breakout from $10,000 let's see if we can build up a support above $10,000 in case that we go up here to test the $11,000 area maybe even overshoot here the Bollinger Band to the upside here the weekly is still looking very bullish also the MACD is still shifted to the upside so in the long term still very very bullish and we should consider to buy the dips currently so the question is how big will the dip be if we're gonna have a, a dip because i think as long as we are staying in this uh, wedge here we don't have a clear sign if we are shifted now to the downside or to the upside so if you buy here the bottom area but we will drop down here uh, we could easily go down towards 8k or six thousand two hundred dollar but if we bounce from it and break out to the upside of course you would have done very nice but at this point i think maybe it's better to wait for a breakout here to the upside and not trying to long here the bottom because in case that we're gonna lose it uh, the risk to lose a lot of money here is uh, quite uh, big all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now remember that if you also want to trade here with uh, leverage this uh, swings up and down you can do that over on bybit for example because there you can also get some sign up bonuses some rewards so you can start to trade with that money completely riskless and also in my opinion this is the best exchange so far for trading so if you need an account you can use the links that you find down below here in the video description because with my link you can get $90 sign up bonus also on Femex you can get $72 sign up bonus if you want to trade also over on this exchange and uh, I would go and give it a try if you don't have an account uh, yet here on Femex you can also make sub accounts so you can do multiple trades uh, together and also make sure to join our free discord trading chat is completely for free the chat and everyone is welcome and i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so make sure also to join the live streams over on twitch here is the link to my channel over there and uh, yes uh, thank you very much for watching guys have a great uh, weekend leave a like if you like the content and uh, subscribe to the channel we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers Thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one. Bye.